Welcome to Conscious Conversations. I'm your host, Katie Augustine. So I'm the head of the Transformation Center based in Westport, Connecticut. You know, and at the center, in addition to the individual healing and transformation coaching sessions I do, we also offer a variety of workshops, classes, um, we even have sound baths in the backyard where the labyrinth is. And some of our offerings are in person and some are on Zoom. So you can find out the whole schedule, it changes every month, there's always something new. I just love bringing in practitioners to you know, offer you what they, they do. So check it out at transformationcenterct.com. And so you know, everything we do at the center is really focused on, on helping you gain better self-awareness. So then you can let go and transform your limiting beliefs and really it's about accessing you know, who you really are. So then you can consciously create a life that you love. That's what it's all about. Yeah, so again, thanks for being here for this um, episode today. And you know, I did start Conscious Conversations because I love meeting new people and finding out what they're about and sharing that with you. So today I'm excited. My guest is Nancy Byrne. Welcome to the show, Nancy. Hi, Katie. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm going to just say a little bit about you before we get started, okay. and we're going to show your contact info so people know how to reach you, okay? Okay. All right. So Nancy Byrne is a doctor of Chinese medicine. She is a licensed acupuncturist and certified Yamana practitioner, and that is the basis of what she does with her acu-rolling, which you're going to hear about in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So Nancy is passionate about teaching others how to relieve their own pain. And she believes in inspiring healing by empowering others through education. So again, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Katie. I'm happy to be here. I know. We've been trying to do this for a few months now, yeah. I think, right? Yeah. yeah, I'm glad it's finally working out. Yeah, we you went know. from snowstorms to 70 degrees, as we should. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, now the weather's cooperating, um, yeah. finally. Yes, I've known Nancy, I guess, for a couple of years now um, through a group we belong to called TLC, which is a holistic health practitioner group in Fairfield County and now Westchester County and New Haven County. It's expanded. Um, yeah, our colleague Beth Lee started that about 20 years ago. A little shout out to Beth Lee's for doing that. Yeah, that's a wonderful group, and I've met so many other wonderful practitioners. Yeah, yeah, I, I really enjoy it too. So Nancy is here because we're going to talk about everything that she does, and I have actually had personal experience with it. That's Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so I'm, I can really um, tell you that it's, it's very effective what you do. Yeah. So I want to know, first of all, though, like, how did you get into acupuncture and all, everything that you do. How did that all start? Yeah, I don't even know. I knew really nothing about it. Um, I kind of knew what it was, but I knew nothing about acupuncture. No one I knew had had it. Because I was, I went to school 20 years ago. I started school 20 years ago, my master's degree. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason I got into it was after college, I um, had what I thought was a urinary tract infection, but the symptoms just never went away, and I was told I did not have an infection. And it took me two years to be diagnosed with something called interstitial cystitis. Huh. Um, and I went through, like pharmaceuticals didn't work for me. Um, there weren't as many options for treatment then because it was a fairly new diagnosis. It was rare for someone so young to be diagnosed with this. Um, and then after several doctors, I finally had a doctor that said, he, you know, I, I learned a lot from him. <laughs> you, you go through your health journey to learn a lot as a practitioner. He said, there's nothing else I can do for you, which is a very powerful statement from a doctor. Yeah. Um, please consider seeing this nutritionist. And I saw a nutritionist who had interstitial cystitis. She taught me more about gut health and how things are connected. And she said, you know, if this isn't enough, consider acupuncture. Yeah. At the time, I was in a corporate job that I hated. Um, we were we worked in Midtown, and then um, it was 2000, so there was a recession. So for the first time, non-financial companies moved en masse to Wall Street. So I worked on was moved to Wall Street, and um, I was really thinking about, you know, maybe going back to school. I didn't like my job, and two of my good friends and I all decided to leave our corporate jobs, and we went backpacking in Europe. 
Oh, wow. We landed on September 11th, 2001 no in way. Europe. No way. And I would have been in it. I would have been on Wall Street. That's where my new building was. Oh, wow. So it was just one of those crossroads of life where you, I, I literally have a, a shirt on um, by Echo and the Buddy Men that says, what are you going to do with your life in the picture? So when I came home three months later in New York City, it really was like, life is short. It can end at any moment. What are you going to do? Talk about a wake-up call. Yeah. Um, and I was only 25, but my other friends were starting their careers and um, were moving forward, and I was sort of lost. And um, I started looking into going back to school, and I became a personal trainer. I loved, I loved the stress reduction of working out. Um, and around that time was when I was at, I went, worked at a gym and I saw these red balls on the floor that no one was using. And those are the, the Yamana balls that be became the basis of AccuRolling. So that was one shoot off. And then I kept searching massage school and acupuncture kept coming up, but I had no experience with it. So I was like acupuncture, but it kept coming up. So I finally just went to school. I went to Pacific College. Um, of health sciences. Where, and where is that? It was at, in the Flatiron District. The main oh. campus is in San Diego, hence Pacific oh, College. Yeah. They also have a Chicago campus. Now it's in Financial District. Um, but I went and sat in on like a Chinese Medicine 101 class and it taught me so much about my own health journey, about mm. how I, you know, got the symptoms I got and how they changed over many years and it taught me so much about just humans in general yeah. <laughs> and now we're all very individual and it was fascinating. So in one day I signed up for my first <laughs> acupuncture appointment and I signed up for acupuncture oh, wow. school. You were hooked. Yeah. <laughs> and no one I knew had done this. Yeah. So it was really. That's amazing. Great. Yeah. How that just came, came just, your way yeah. and it just all kind of came together. A lot of roads converged. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. So that was the beginning. That was and, the beginning. And you yeah. obviously loved it. And kind of Yeah, a it's a long that. road. It's a, the master's degree is about four years to do Chinese medicine, which is um, Chinese herbs, acupuncture, Chinese medical theory, and Western medicine, because we have to know the red flags if we have to send someone mm -hmm. um, to a Western medicine practitioner. Yeah. Wow, that's terrific. So that's a long road, yeah. Wow, so, you know, acupuncture really, I mean, my understanding is, you know, it's it's like been around for thousands of years. Like, I don't know how yes. many thousands, but a mm -hmm. lot. But it hasn't been here in the country for that long? Or what is a little bit about the It history? only became legal in the 90s. Um, and of course, oh. you know, we are the melting pot. So um, Asian immigrants brought their medicine with them, mm -hmm. thank goodness. And because it's such a powerful, beautiful medicine. Um, but my understanding is that in the 70s, I believe it was President Nixon, one of his um, admins on, um, like his chiefs of staff, uh -huh. on a trip to China got appendicitis. So he went to the hospital. But his experience was that he was not given medication for anesthesia, he was needled. He was given acupuncture for anesthesia which is not a practice I learned. Okay, but that's but just how they, normal, that's how they normally do it well, there, right? Well, that was assume. one option. They use both medicines now oh, in, okay. the, in the hospitals, um, but at the time, that's that what was what mm -hmm. um, this particular doctor did. And he was like, you know, almost in awe and disbelief that it worked. So he was part of what brought it more to the mainstream and then um, became legal in the 90s and the schools started opening in the 90s to, to start to spread the medicine. That's not that long ago. It no. Seems, I mean, to me, it seems like yesterday. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh. More and more insurances are covering it and doctors are becoming more aware of how beneficial it is and mm -hmm. some hospitals have it. So we're getting there, but it's a slow, mm -hmm. slow journey. <laughs> So, I'm not sure if this is too technical a question or not, but just like an overview, like how does it, how does it work? Mm. <laughs> there's a lot of ways it works. <laughs> just like, you know, there's a lot of things. Um, disease is multifactorial. Mm -hmm. So, um, it affects the vagus nerve. There's um, evidence that it's as effective as morphine for pain. Um, there's evidence that it, it changes the brain. So there's some really great studies um, using PT, but also acupuncture for carpal tunnel um, mm -hmm. syndrome, and both worked. But the acupuncture had more long-term effects because there were changes in the brain. 
Huh. Um, so we know it affects the brain. Um, there's also been fMRI studies, like functional MRI studies, that show that it affects um, brain chemistry. Hmm. So um, the, when you come in as a patient, the acupuncturist will give you a, um, a long intake, ask your history, um, connect things. There's, um, the way the theory works is there's patterns in Chinese medicine, which are groups of symptoms. So lots of things are related that aren't necessarily related in modern medicine yet, although modern medicine is catching up. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what your patterns are and then pick the points and or the herbal medicine for your pattern. So then lots of things can get better together. Huh. Um, yeah, it's pretty phenomenal. And then there's more and more research into connective tissue and fascia, which seems to be the web that the ancients described. The ancients described the physical acupuncture channels as a web with mm -hmm. holes. And um, there's connective tissue, and there was a possibility of a recent organ being found, more connective tissue that we didn't know existed till only a few years ago. Oh. And the holes are where, you know, messaging occurs and they believe the acupuncture points are. So it's pretty fascinating. Huh, yeah. I'm yeah. Not, we don't have time to really get in depth right now, but it is fascinating. Yeah, there's lots of theories. Um, the connective tissue theory yeah. is really pretty incredible. Yeah. So if somebody wants to um, like read up on it just for their own you know, edification, is there some a source that you would um, recommend? Um, well, the books that are always recommended initially are A Web That Has No Weaver is one, um, and then Between Heaven and Earth. Between Heaven and Earth is more about um, connections and um, yeah. who you, what your elements you are mm -hmm. and, and things like that, and Web That Has No Weaver is more technical. There's also um, A Spark in the Machine is a great one, too, that talks more about both medicines. It's um, a scientist who's also an acupuncturist who writes about both medicines and that, um, you know, the electricity, which is the chi in the body, is probably conducted by these con con um, connective tissues, which I also see that in um, what Yamana talks about in the acu-rolling. Um, she talks about bone stimulation, and bone has... Mm. Um, it has nerves and everything. It has, yeah. it has um, electricity, it has oh, piezo okay. electricity, so does our heart. Okay. And um, she never quite described what bone stimulation is, but it's because it's a little bit indescribable, sort of like chi stimulation, yeah. just the same thing. People experience it differently. Huh. So, so Yamana is, is a person? Mm hmm So I spoke about um, when I came back and decided to change my career path after 9-11 and my um, travels in Europe. I worked in a boutique gym and there were these red balls on the floor, but no one was using them because no one knew what they were. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to the fitness manager and said, what are these? I was 2001, which isn't that long ago, but she handed me the VHS tapes and said, take this home and tell me, you tell me what they are. So I was given the research project of doing the Yamana body rolling total body workout. And I took it home and I rolled my hamstrings and immediately one leg was longer than the other and I was hooked. And then fast forward, I went to um, teacher training hmm. and we rolled the spine. Now we learned to roll the whole body, but we had this particular experience where we rolled the spine. And there were about 10 other teachers learning. And after we rolled the spine, nine of them ran to the bathroom and said, I always have to pee after I roll the spine. And the one who didn't was like, my eyes and my sinuses are always so open after I roll the spine. And I stood there fascinated because the spine, either side of the spine in Chinese medicine is the urinary bladder channel. All of the physical channels are um, named after organ systems, the organs they go to. Wow. So even though we lifted and um, released the muscles of the spine, the bladder was stimulated. So many of the teachers had to run to the restroom. And the other part of it is the internal um, urinary bladder channel exits the body, so the first point I can needle is at your sinuses and the mm -hmm. eyes. So she had the um, experience of rolling this channel nowhere near her sinuses, but her sinuses opened. So that's, you know, the channel pathway. Yeah. Um, so why I might, if I treat your sinuses, I might work on your back or I might work on your head because of the uh -huh. channel pathway, which we also know in several cases mimics the um, anatomical pathways 
and the fascial pathways. Wow, so, that's fascinating. Yeah, so from there I started teaching the Yamana body rolling method, but I taught it as AccuRolling, and I incorporate some of the Chinese medical theory just to fuse the two systems, which are both very powerful. So, wow. So, okay, so the little ball, how, how, how it's like this size, or are there different sizes? There are different the sizes. So the Yamana balls, um, there's a pair um, of ones like about this size mm -hmm. that are black. They were originally called calf balls because that's what she um, released with them, but Yamana's always expanding her work, so now she uses them all over the body. Um, and then there's a larger um, pearl ball and then a larger ball, about the size of a basketball, but they're very soft. Hmm. Um, so we use them to roll the body and you might get an, an emotional release, like a stress release. Most people stand taller, shoulders are dropped. We have a lot of fun in class because the body really responds very quickly to the work yeah. as it does acupuncture because you're just realigning everything. Yeah, yeah. It's just a different way of, of getting to the same issues. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So you, you turned the Yamana practice into your own kind of way of doing it with this AccuRolling? I, I teach her method, but I, I am, she speaks mostly anatomically. She, mm -hmm. she speaks about bone and tendon and muscle. And I teach how to use her method, but I teach, I infuse the acupuncture theory oh, with it. Okay, so for example, when we go up the spine, just like modern medicine, the nerves exit the vertebrae and go to um, different organs. Mm -hmm. In Chinese medicine, that's true as well. They'll go to physical organs, but they also go to the emotion of the organs. So as we go up the spine, mm -hmm. I may speak to that. Mm -hmm. And so people get a different, um, 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 an even more beneficial release because yeah. they learn how to connect to their own body and what they're feeling. Yeah, so you know, I haven't really had a full AccuRolling session. I did the little bit when we did the acupuncture. So I think I'd, I'm, I'm gonna try a full AccuRolling session. Yeah, you can come to a class. I teach classes in Fairfield County. So is it a group? How do you do it in a group? Um, I do, I teach um, the Yamana body rolling method in a group. So you learn how to roll yourself, oh. which I really love because you're basically getting the same benefits of acupuncture, but it's more accessible. Um, so often I give her rolling methods um, as homework for patients to do at home, like oh. little rolling. But we have full classes, and people often leave and say, I feel like I just got a massage. I can't believe you know how much tension was relieved. Hmm. Um, they stand taller. They see their shoulders drop away from their ears. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. So, so you have enough of the little balls where everybody has a few that are using and you're just showing them how to do it? Kind of? Yeah, I teach okay. weekly at Yoga for Everybody. Mm -hmm. I teach at um, Pause and Purpose. I teach online. So it's a really powerful method. Okay. So you do that rather than having, like for acupuncture, you have a private session. Mm -hmm. So for acupuncture, I have a private session. I do incorporate the work sometimes mm -hmm. if it's yeah. um, necessary. Um, so I might show someone a shoulder stretch or I might, if someone has low back pain, I'll stretch their legs to um, take some tension off the low back or I'll show them how to use the um, balls behind their low back in bed. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a facial practice, a cosmetic acupuncture practice. Um, and I, Yamana has um, a facial method. She has smaller balls um, with different texture. They're made to feel like skin on skin, so I'll use those. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, those are used um, in both of my facials. I have an acupuncture facial, but also a gua sha facial. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're not into needles, I do a gua sha facial with the AccuRolling for face, and then gua sha, which is a facial massage. But um, it's a medical practice. So in addition to glowing skin, you um, both both practices, both the um, gua sha and the acupuncture and the um, the Yamana work creates space in the body. So for the facial, you might get relief from headaches or sinusitis, um, rosacea, because it's just creating space in the face to move the fluids hmm. um, so you have health. One of my recent facials, I was working around the lips for fine lines, but the patient said, my digestion is, you know, I'm feeling gurgling, what's going on? And this is the large intestine channel. So oh everything goodness. really is it's connected. connected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh, that's a perfect example, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, that sounds cool. So it's it's for cosmetic and for health purposes absolutely. for the facial. Yeah. 
And, and yeah. do you teach people how to do that themselves? Is yeah, that I, I teach um, gua sha classes. I often have them in the Salt Cave in Darien. Mm -hmm. um, there's one coming up um, next month. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I, all, all of these practices are meant for self-care as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, not acupuncture, <laughs> but the acu rolling is and gua sha is part of the medicine um, and, and Yamana's work. The reason she made the Yamana body rolling was so that people could take care of themselves. Oh. So do you have to buy the little balls? You can just, I guess you can just buy them anywhere. Yeah, right? they're available. Well, they're available on my website, which is my, just my name, nancyburn.com. Mm -hmm. I have a few videos on Instagram on acu rolling. Um, yeah, so there's some very beneficial stretches. And one of the class favorites, which is um, very needed right now, <laughs> Um, TMJ, jaw pain, is, has been rampant for the last few years, I think just as, you know, the world is more and more stressful. Stress. Yeah. So there's a front of the neck stretch mm. that we do with the Yamana balls. Um, you gently um, press the collarbones down and you, you lift your neck and you open and close your jaw. Um, that's on my AccuRolling site. But what's really interesting about that is when I teach it to a class, all the students really start to bliss out. They also feel their eyes open, their jaws release, their ears open. Um, and I have to be careful when I teach it that I don't you know, bliss out too much. <laughs> so I have to really kind of concentrate on teaching. Someone actually asked me recently, how do you teach this and not like zone out? But um, what's really interesting about that is we are stretching the front of the neck. But in Chinese medicine, the front of the neck is, um, has a lot of mental emotional points. The idea is that you're connecting your head to your heart. There's mm -hmm. a lot of emotional mm -hmm. points here. Um, we are also gently dropping the collarbone and the first rib. And there's theory that um, our ribs can get kind of hiked up and keep us in fight or flight, mm. like upward breathing into the right, neck. Versus people tend to breathe in their, in their upper chest. Yeah. 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 So we drop that, and so you're getting this physical release of your jaw feels better, your sinuses open, but also this mental emotional release. Wow. And I wouldn't fully understand that if I didn't know Chinese medicine, like, you know, what's going on. So I explain those types of things in class that, yeah, you might be at your computer all day and your, your neck needs a little stretch, but if, if you're also stressed out, taking two or three minutes to do this stress will really calm you. Wow, so it's a great combination yeah. treatment. And it's very empowering because yeah. you can mm -hmm. learn to do it yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you know, you'd said in your intro um, that that's really the purpose of why you do all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's to empower other people to take charge and Absolutely. help themselves. And, you know, I think that's probably what all, all of us, all of our, us as practitioners, have in common that we do want to empower other people to take care of their own health and to heal and to, you know, find their higher self, all of those things. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And there's, you know, a time and place for just being the recipient and receiving and mm -hmm. surrendering. And then there's also a time and place for self-care. Ah. Yeah, a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. I love that. That's, that's really perfect. So it's like you, all of this stuff that you learn has just come together, you know, so well. As it does. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. 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 And the hindsight is kind of fun to see. Oh, okay. I see yeah. why all those things are happening. Right. You could have yeah. planned this better. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're fortunate to have you in, in, in our midst here. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to be here. And Connecticut and Fairfield County um, has so many, you know, wellness opportunities and um, places that I teach that are showing up. So it's a really, it's really nice to see the environment supporting. Yeah. So you have yeah. different because you mentioned yoga for everybody, which is in Fairfield. Yoga for everybody. Um, salt cave salt of Darien. Salt cave of Darien, which is fabulous. Yeah. Pause and purpose is oh, a pause meditation. And purpose right here in Westport Center. Um, one of our Friends in Teal, Tribe TLC just opened the Hummingbird Center, Sound oh, Healing. Right. Yep. Hummingbird Center right here in West Yeah. We just experienced sound healing at Sticks and Stones yesterday yeah, with right. guided meditation. That's right. So there's so many opportunities. Yeah, I um, would encourage people to actually go on the, the TLC website <clears throat> too, because all of us have our um, information there. You can find different places, different practitioners, whatever you're looking for, really. Yeah, there's so much. And, um, there's so many options for community healing in addition to yeah. private sessions. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, because so many of us are craving community and connection again. Right, right. So, and also come to the Transformation Center for different co different Absolutely. courses and different classes. Yeah. Well, this was so much fun having you today, Nancy. I really enjoyed our conversation, and I hope everyone else did. So, thank you for coming. Um, I think it's almost time to wrap up. But what else do you have? Um, is there any thought you would like to leave our audience with that? just comes to you? Um, I just think you'll never regret taking the few moments for self-care. You know, sometimes the hardest part mm -hmm. is stepping up to do it, but just a few moments, um, you know, to just take care of yourself. That's what I love about the AccuRolling because it's fast and effective. Yeah. How long does it take um, in just general general terms to do? There are routines you can do in two or three minutes, or you can come for a full hour class or hour and 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. But if you're doing it at yeah. home, you can do something that's really meaningful in a, that short of a time. Absolutely. Yeah, the yeah. body, you know, you hear it all the time, the body wants to heal, but um, mm -hmm. when you see how fast acupuncture can be or AccuRolling, you really get a glimpse of that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a matter of taking the time sometimes to mm -hmm. build it into your routine, just like everything else, like meditation. Yeah. You know, once you get used to that, setting aside that time, it just becomes like you, you miss it if you don't do it. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. You know, and I think AccuRolling could be one of those things um, that your body just, once it gets into that optimal state, that it really wants to you know, to stay there, to keep experiencing what it feels like to be aligned. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. You know, because, it, you know, I think we go through life without even realizing that we're out of alignment. Mm -hmm. Physically. You get used to it, yeah. Spiritually, mentally. Yeah, yeah, you get used to it because, you know, as humans, we are so adaptable. It's amazing in a good way and not so good way. Yeah. Right? We can adapt to, to unhealthy ways of being. And just like the... Um, the stretch I was just speaking about that drops your shoulders and relaxes the front of your neck, you become more aligned emotionally after that. So you can really see how the two are, are, are intertwined, the physical and the emotional right. are never separate. No, no, and so it's a good release. Mm -hmm. You know, I think on the emotional side, we tend to, you know, either um, stuff our emotions or hold on to things that we, um, it would be in our best interest to let go of. Sure. Yeah. You know, and this is a this is a very tangible way to assist us in doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. and you don't you know what that's so cool about it is you don't even have to be aware of what you're releasing. No, you don't. Because it's, it's not mental. Yeah, sometimes it's not even yours. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. energy yeah. that is no longer serving me. You know, whoever wherever it came from. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is great. Well, thanks again. I think we are just going to have to wrap up now. But, um, Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it was really great. And I'm going to sign up for one of those classes. Please do. <laughs> and I encourage our audience to as well. Maybe we could just put up Nancy's slide one more time with her contact info. Okay. And that way, um, you know, you can remember to, to get in touch with her. Um, yeah, great. so there it is. Dr. Nancy Byrne, thanks again. And thanks for being here today. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.